doing a triathlon but don't know what kit you need? Well, here we go. Here's all the kit you'll need in under five minutes. Yeah, right, let's start the clock. Here we go. First up, you're gonna want one of these, a tri suit. This is one suit for all three disciplines. Obviously, they're not essential. You can get changed in transitions, but have you ever tried getting changed when you're wet? Yeah, pretty hard going. So save yourself some hassle, one suit for all. Now, next on the list, goggles. Well, these are pretty important for the swim, really, unless, of course, you're one of those crazy people that can swim without them. Important note on this, though, make sure that they fit well, they don't leak, and you can see well in them, particularly for the open water. On which note, also got the wetsuit. Obviously, these are only needed for open water swims, or at least when the water temperature gets below a certain temperature, and that is normally around 15 or 16 degrees Celsius. And obviously, these do provide a layer of protection against the cold, but they also provide some buoyancy, which is rather nice. And when it comes to buying and choosing a wetsuit, it can seem like a bit of a minefield. There's so many out there, so do check out our wetsuit buying guide tips video for a bit of advice on that. And when it comes to the actual use and wearing of it, what you do is wear your tri suit underneath, and that means when you come through transition, just quickly remove your wetsuit. Phew, look at that. And talking of being quick, something to add to that is a race belt. Well, this may seem like a fairly insignificant and small piece of a kit, but actually serves a pretty important purpose because more or less every race you do will require you to wear a number on your back for the bike and on the front for the run. And the race belt does that for you. Right, what's next? Ah, a bike. Yep. A fairly important one. But here's the thing, you can use pretty much any bike you like. And I say that because you might feel rather overwhelmed by some of the bikes you see, like this one. But you can, if you so wish, use your old mountain bike from the back of your garage. Just make sure you do a bit of TLC to it beforehand. If you are in the market for a new bike though, I probably, broadly speaking, recommend getting yourself a road bike. It's a good all round bike to start off with. And then once you've got the bug, you can get yourself a bike like this. And to go with that, we need a helmet. Yep, you're not gonna get far without one of these. In fact, rules state that you must wear a helmet in a triathlon. And regardless of that, pretty good idea for training anyway. But beyond that, you may wanna take things a little bit more seriously and get yourself a helmet like this. Oh yeah, aero. All right, another item you'll appreciate for the bike is bike shoes. So these are dedicated cycling shoes that clip into the pedals. So yes, you may well need some new pedals, like I've got on my bike, to go with these. Of course, they're not essential. You can just use normal trainers on flat pedals, but the benefits of these cycling shoes are pretty significant. I mean, there's a reason why everyone uses them. Now, not only are they stiffer, you also clipped into the pedal, that means less moving around, but also you can pull up as well as push down. As of anything, there's some options here. You can get pure cycling shoes like these ones here in my hand, but you can also get triathlon shoes. So these allow quick entry and exit from the shoes, which obviously you need in triathlon going through transition, using normally just a single Velcro strap across the top. They're also normally more breathable too. Whew. All right, we're almost there. Now for running shoes. So with these, make sure they're comfortable for you. They suit your gait or the style in which you run. And the best port of call for this is to head down to your local running store. They'll be able to help you out and make sure that you get the right shoes to suit you. Now, we need to make these triathlon ready and speed up our transitions, so we need some elastic laces. Again, a bit like the race belt, this may seem like a rather small and insignificant item, but actually, it does quite a lot drastically speed up your transitions because rather than tying and untying your running shoe laces, pop these on your running shoes in place of those laces and you can just slip your shoes on, just like that. Right, now moving on to a couple of last ticket items. Here we go. Right then, first up we've got nutrition. Pretty self-explanatory if you wanna get your way around a triathlon, working hard or even the training for that matter, you're gonna need some nutrition. Don't think I need to say much more on that. Then we've got a sports watch or a bike computer, something that's gonna be able to track those all important swim, bike and run sessions, and even that triathlon. Not essential, but again, good idea. And then we've got clip-on aero bars. If you've opted for a road bike initially, this is a great way of upgrading that road bike and being a little bit more aerodynamic and in some cases actually a little bit more comfortable for those longer distance races. Right, I think that's it. Stop the clock. Did I do all right? Well, hopefully at least you are more equipped heading into your first triathlon. If you've got any more questions or perhaps any other kit that you might have suggested or added to this list, drop in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget to support the channel by subscribing.